What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to talk about good old Cable, a pretty cool-looking uniform that had an absolutely amazing sneak peek in the detail, especially, and this arm looks so good but guys he's a whole lot more than looks he's actually quite powerful in this uniform and it's definitely the most powerful uniform that he has it is the strongest amongst them although there is a little bit of a caveat to the uniform as we'll explain here in a little bit you guys can take a look at my build unfortunately i didn't receive the full potential otherwise this would be a level 80 review which is really where it's at when it comes to these kinds of characters that have the tier fours available however even at level 70, guys, in this uniform, he is so much stronger than what he was before. But, I mean, he has almost 60,000 energy attack. You can take a look at the stats that I have, right? He does have the Weapon Master tag, which can be pretty useful in World Boss Legend. Also, the Leadership tag can also become very, very useful. He is an ABX meta at Tier 4, also for Male Blast Day. And you guys can take a look at the build. There are some uh, Odin's Blessings on him. And I do have some... Uh, mythic energy attack uru so he's got a fairly decent build on him right his tier three does have the damage proc right he's got the guaranteed curve right by 30 percent which means rage obviously for abx abl right and then we scroll down a little bit here and you got the third scale now this says recover 15 percent of hp and when i initially saw this in the past notes i thought oh man that's that's not a very good heal but the thing about this thing is that it actually refreshes one time. So you actually get a 30% heal in total whenever you use this skill. So it's actually really, really good. And then, of course, you have the super armor. You have the uh, damage accumulation. Then we have the force skill, which gives you an all attack by 60%, guys. Critical rate by 35%. That's really, really nice. And then the fifth skill gives you a damage product. Now, this is kind of the caveat to the character with a certain rotation this proc won't engage whereas with another rotation it actually will as i'm going to show you guys here in a second his passive does have all the penetration which is nice and of course the leadership is the dodge the ignore dodge the striker guys uh recharges his tier three skill and also gives him a really increase to his attack so it really does increase the survivability other than just increasing his stats giving him more hp and so on and you will find that his survivability is definitely better in this uniform there's no denying that but it's still i still would have liked to see some decreased damage received in his kit now here's the thing about playing with cable the proc is on the fifth skill but you want to put the proc on the fourth skill well the proc will carry over from the fifth scale to the fourth scale, it played properly. So if you go five, three, four, you'll notice, guys, that the proc actually does engage. There was the 70% proc when you go five, three, four. However, if you start with the third skill and you go uh, three, five, four, right, you'll notice that the proc is nowhere to be found. It is nowhere to be found. So you really are trying to go five, three, four, so that way you get that 70% damage product that's really gonna help his damage. Now I believe this is just a bug. Hopefully Netmarvel will fix this to where we can change our rotation a little bit. But currently right now, guys, you're gonna have to go five, three, four, right? And put the proc on the four and get that damage proc by 70% from the fifth skill, right? And then you would do that again, you would go five three four and then you would go five three four tier three or three four five tier three because the tier three does have an 80 percent damage proc on it and from what i've the testing i've done it seems like the damage proc from the fifth skill and the sixth skill do not stack on top of each other you're just going to get the the bigger proc which is the one on the tier three so it's really just literally five three four five three four and then five three four tier three now you can squeeze in that tier three a little bit more often if you choose to do so however in this uniform i don't know if it really makes that much of a benefit because he actually does a lot of damage just off his four skill in fact pretty much almost the equivalent of what he does off his tier three so I'm going to be playing a simple rotation because I'm going to be using a controller. And believe me, guys, with this thing, it's a lot more difficult than using a, a telephone. But uh, we also have a fully awakened power being real said. We have no artifact. And he just is using a regular CTP of energy. And his uniform is at legendary. Now, his uniform effect does give him this critical rate increase by 20%. This is another difference between this uniform and his old uniforms, is that before you'd have to hit the second scale to get critical rate by a 20% increase, whereas with this uniform, you don't. So it eases his play a little bit because you just run through three scales. However, if you're trying to do your tier three more often, it really doesn't change anything because you still have to use 
that second skill. We still get that sweet increased chaining damage by 35%, critical damage increased by 30%, which is nice. And as far as his uniform options, you can see we've got Strong G, who is a good uniform, but definitely outdated due to the tier fours. We have Spider-Man, which is fairly good. A lot of players are probably going to have that uniform. And then we have Magneto. I actually opted for HP to increase cable survivability and get a little bit more of a heal. And this uniform is unfortunately outdated. And then we have Crescent, which is, you know, not a good uniform at all. And we go to uniform upgrade. You guys can see that it is Thanos. The Obsidian King uniform is a good uniform. And I do feel like a lot of players are probably going to have this. But Farmer Thanos is easily the best so let's do a little run in world boss legend guys and let's see how cable actually performs at least against Noel at stage 54 now i actually did this run last night on my live stream and i did it with a normal ranked uniform he actually was able to clear this thing right so whether he does it here or not i'm not really sure it really depends my valor is quite low compared to other youtubers so i don't do quite as much damage as they do even with the same builds and even with the same cards Valor makes all the difference in your damage. So we're just going to go 534. And yeah. And I'm just going to go throw in that, that one and that two afterwards. And there we go. Right? I think I was actually late as far as proccing on the tier four. I'm going to try to get out of here. Try not to get caught. You really want to try to avoid the toxic meteorites because cable can take a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. And seriously, the, the 534 just seems to do just as much damage as the Tier 3. I mean, like, when I queue up this method, it just seems like it does a lot better. Right? And there, I actually missed my 4 skill, which kind of sucks. That's kind of the thing about playing on a controller, is it, it takes a lot of practice to get it down. There we got caught in the cage. And there my force skill didn't even kick in. I was actually tapping it, and it didn't even kick in, so I'm not really sure what happened here, right? You can have some fast fingers to play with good old cable. Right, there we go. That time we actually did get the problem. I mean, that was a good amount of damage in all honesty. Very, very nice. Okay, get over here, get over here, get over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is, but on the emulator, it seems like I need to be closer to the boss to use my skills. It's a little weird. Okay, we're going to run over here. Try not to get hit. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we're going to go that 3-4 again, and we're going to switch. Try not to take any damage or try not to lose my Polaris here. Oh, boy, oh, boy, 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 boy. Oh, thank God she dodged that. Thank God. And no can interrupt your skills. Now, something that I really like about this uniform is that Cable does move around when he's using the force skill and he's in an iframe. That really adds to his survivability on top of the refreshing heal on his third skill i mean that's pretty damn nice right i'm not really quite fast enough in all honesty guys using this uh controller as far as like proccing the way i need to okay so we're gonna start running around here hopefully avoid uh getting hit Ooh, boy, oh boy, 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 boy. Switch my character. Switch my character again. Booyah. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, it's a little tricky, man, getting all my tier three, getting that tier three off. But he does more than enough damage to do this. Need to get over here. All right, so here we're, we're getting a little risky and risky territory here, guys. We're getting in risky, risky territory here. Real risky. 
There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And we need to get out of there. We don't want to take any damage from that. Okay. Booyah, 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 booyah. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's run over here, run over here, run over here, run over here, run over here. All right, now I don't want to take any chances, even though Cable kind of moves around. He can, like, oh crap. That damage was pitiful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, and booyah. So we're definitely on pace to be able to do this clear, for sure. Right now, if I attack now, he'll die. He will die guaranteed. So we're just going to have to wait, go on to the very last phase, and try to queue this up. All right, come on now. Come on now. Come on, there's a good chance I'm probably going to miss my tier 4. Uh, uh, Brock. And I did. I knew I would. I don't know what it is, man. It's, seriously, it just feels like on my uh, controller, it just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to get it done, guys. We're going to die because we missed some procs at the end. But it's all good, right? You get the idea. He can definitely do it. If I wouldn't have missed my procs, he would have gotten that clear for sure. He would have definitely gotten that clear. So let me see here. And try a mutant stage uh, against Mephisto and see how we can perform here. No, no, no. Okay, blast. And let's see. No, no, no. We'll use Riri. We'll use uh, Cyclops. And then we'll put Cable in there. Actually, Polaris would be better. So let's jump into it and let's set up some strikers for good old Cable here. We have increased damage to supervillain, supervillain, supervillain. All right, here we go. Now, I'm not using any fire resistance down. We do get some decreased damage received from Polaris. That's a reason I really wanted to put her in there on top of the increased damage to supervillains. But uh, let's see how this plays out. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think I, we landed the proc, I believe, that time on that tier three. Now there, we actually didn't get the proc from the fifth skill because we started off with the third skill. Okay, run over here. We'll see how long it takes to actually break this meter. Okay. Like how I'm moving my head around. Oh yeah, nice, nice. That was really sweet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean the damage guys, like I have to say, man, it's pretty quality. And it is nice that he moves around. Okay, and just wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm going to switch to Riri here because she is just super fast. Really makes your life a lot easier whenever you're moving away from all these opponents. I and mean, she just zoops it all over the place, okay? Yeah, it's like with my controller, man, that force skill just doesn't want to kick in, man. I definitely don't have that problem on my mobile device. Definitely don't have that problem. I do like that he moves around. I mean, ah, let's, 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 let's. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, we almost did it, guys. We almost kept Pokey from going in rage mode here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. And booyah. 
He's doing pretty damn good. All honesty, man. He's like, uh, he's getting it done. And of course, my proc triggered. That sucks. Okay, we're gonna try to avoid all these attacks here. There we go. I almost feel like when I play on my controller or on my emulator, that'd be better off not to even use my tier three. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, we're having some problems here. I couldn't even hardly see what was going on. Okay, we're going to switch to Riri. Three, four, and let's swing over to five. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, the prog just triggers so fast uh, on cable, man. You got to be really, really fast. And like I said, like with the controller, it's just not an easy thing uh, to do at all. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. But even with like uh, my new gameplay here where I keep missing my procs, we're actually doing fairly well. Come on, Pokey. Chase me, chase me, chase me. Let's go. Two, three, four, and five. Like there, we actually missed our proc. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, if I would have done this gameplay on my phone, this would have been a lot easier in all honesty. Yeah, that four scale, man, when I hit it, it just doesn't it just doesn't seem like it uh wants to go. And there we go, guys. Like he can definitely do this. There's no doubt in my mind. And he can do this on my account. Uh, but I think I'm just going to have to play on my phone. In all honesty, guys. My headphones are falling off my head. But I'm just going to have to play on my phone. Because he's just... You'll, for one, you'll be able to do your Tier 3 more often. If you can squeeze in four skills between every Tier 3. And honestly, on a phone, it's just a lot easier to be faster than you know using two different fingers to use your buttons here. So that's kind of a hinder whenever you use a controller uh, in a game like this. But... Man, the uniform is definitely strong. It's definitely got way more survivability than what it did before due to the fact that he's an iframe, due to the fact that he actually has a 30% heal. And honestly, it's a pretty smooth playing uniform for the most part. It does trigger the proc pretty quick though. So you gotta be really, really fast for as far as your skills. But I do think it's a pretty awesome uniform. If you're ABX and ABL competitive, then you definitely should buy this thing. If you just wanna make cable as strong as you can, you definitely wanna buy this thing. So guys, let me know what you think about cable. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. due to plus seven time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.